As of 2019, about 26.32 million people live in Shanghai, making it one of the most crowded cities in the world. Shanghai has so many things to do that it will take more than one trip to see everything. Still, you can do a lot in a short amount of time. Shanghai has been called the showpiece of mainland China's constantly growing economy. Today we are going to discuss the top 20 things to do in Shanghai. But before we start our counting, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon. 1. Walk along the Bund The Bund is on the west side of the Huangpu River. It is also called Zhongshan Dong Yulu. It is known for its view of Pudong, the business district, across the Huangpu River, from the water. The Bund is a 1.5-kilometer-long row of colonial buildings along the water's edge. At night, when the lights come on, the skyline of the city looks amazing. The walking path runs along the river and is wide and open, with great views of Pudong on one side and early 1900s colonial buildings on the other. 2. Pudong Skyscrapers The financial district of Shanghai is in Pudong, which is on the other side of the Huangpu River from the Bund. It has a lot of amazing and unique tall buildings, some of which are the tallest in the world. A few decades ago, it was mostly farmland, but now it is the city that is growing the fastest in the world. Here, you can look around the high-end shopping centers that are at the bottom of all the tall buildings with observation decks. It's easy to get around Pudong because the buildings are connected by an elevated walkway that makes it easy to walk from one skyscraper to the next. 3. The Jinmao Tower The Jinmao Tower is the third tallest building in Shanghai, and its observation deck is the only one with unobstructed views in every direction. Even though the views of the city are great, the best view was down the middle of the tower from the 88th floor. Something about it looks like it came from a science fiction movie. Don't miss this if you ever go to Shanghai. Taiwan is another amazing place to visit in Asia. 4. Shanghai World Financial Center The Shanghai World Financial Center is the city's second tallest building and one of its most famous landmarks. It's the one that looks like an opener for a bottle. On the 97th and 100th floors, there are places to look out over the city. You can only look out one side or the other. You can't see everything around you. But it does have nice views of the Huangpu River and the Oriental Pearl TV Tower. There is a 55-meter-long glass floor that lets you see the top of the Pearl Tower. 5. Ritz-Carlton Patio If you don't like observation decks but still want a great view, the Ritz-Carlton has a beautiful outdoor patio where you can enjoy a cocktail while looking at the Bund and the Pearl. It's a big outdoor patio with a bar that serves food and drinks. It was our favorite place to look out. Over Shanghai 6. Oriental Pearl TV Tower One of the most well-known places in Shanghai is the Pearl Tower. Since 1995, the skyline has been lit up by the illusion that two dragons are playing with two pearls. We don't think you should go up the Oriental Pearl TV Tower because we think it's more interesting to look at the tower than to look out from it. But there is also an observation deck where you can see the Bund, the Huangpu River, and the skyline of Shanghai. 7. Shanghai Tower The Shanghai Tower is the city's tallest building. It has the world's highest observation deck and the world's fastest elevators. A skyscraper with 128 stories and a height of 632 meters gives a bird's eye view of Shanghai. Before you go up the high-speed elevator to the 118th and 119th floors, there is an exhibit hall on B1 where you can compare the tallest buildings around the world. 8. Nanjing Road Nanjing Road is a big pedestrian street with high-end shops, restaurants, and caves all along it. It is the main shopping street in the city. Nanjing Road is split into two parts, West Nanjing Road and Nanjing Road East. Nanjing Road West is for people who want to walk, and Nanjing Road East is more of a business area with hotels and restaurants. It goes from the Bund to the People's Square, and you should walk along it both in the morning and in the evening. 9. Yu Garden The Yu Yuan Garden is a beautiful garden in the old city that dates back to 1368, during the Ming Dynasty. It has rocks, water, plants, and pavilions, which are all typical parts of a Chinese garden. We recommend getting there early, before the tour buses arrive, because it is very busy. 
10. U Garden Shopping. In front of the U Garden is a shopping center with places to buy Chinese gifts and eat real Shanghai dumplings. The complex is made to look like a traditional Chinese bazaar. It has a confusing network of old alleys and lanes. This is a great place to buy things to take home with you. 11. French Concession. The French Concession is a very different place than the rest of Shanghai. It has a European feel because the streets are lined with terraces of bistros and coffee shops. This is a nice break from the hustle and bustle of Shanghai. Expats looking for a place to live love the streets with lots of trees. Walk along streets with cobblestones to check out the cafes and bistros and buy souvenirs. 12. Tian Fang. In the French concession, Tian Fang is a tangled network of narrow streets with shops selling arts and crafts and street food. There are a lot of bars and cafes in the nice area. As our guide said, business people like to sip coffee and shop in Tian Fang during the day, but at night, bars and nightlife give it a very different feel. People call Tian Fang the Sao Ho of Shanghai. 13. Jing and Temple. We like the Jingin Temple the most. We were able to get into the square for free and saw a lot of people throwing coins into a large urn in the middle. People pray while they burn incense and walk around the urn. The temple was built in 240 AD, but it wasn't put where it is now until the early 1200s. Inside is the biggest Jade Buddha in all of China, as well as a big bell from the middle of the 1300s. 14. Jade Buddha Temple the Jade Buddha Temple is a popular place to visit because it has two Buddhas that were brought from Myanmar. There is a Jade Buddha who is sitting and a Jade Buddha who is lying down. It now has a third Buddha that was given to it by Singapore. 15. Longwu Temple The Longwu Temple was built during the Song Dynasty, which started in 960. It is the city of Shanghai's biggest and most complete temple complex. 16. Bait Market Science and Technology Museum and AP Plaza. If you want to buy fake watches and handbags from well-known brands, you should go to the AP Plaza in Pudong. You can buy clothes, silk scarves, sunglasses from well-known brands, and just about anything else you can think of here. We weren't big fans of the market. The sellers are pushy, and they only show the cheap stuff. If you want something nice, you have to follow a seller to a back room with blacked-out windows where you can buy better things. 17. Shanghai Maglev Train The first commercial Maglev line in the world is the Shanghai Maglev Train, SMT. The SMT runs between the Longyang Road Metro Station and the Shanghai Pudong International Airport. With help from Germany, the line opened on April 1, 2003 and became the fastest train in the world. It is now in the Guinness Book of World Records, 18. Shanghai Circus World The Shanghai Acrobats Arena is shaped like a golden vault and has room for 1,638 people. It has advanced, state-of-the-art stage, lighting, and sound equipment. It has singing and dancing shows, acrobatics, and the Shanghai International Magic Festival and Competition, which is a competition and festival for magicians from all over the world. Itara, Intersection of Time and Happy Circus are two shows that people like to see here. 19. Ride a Gondola A trip to Shanghai wouldn't be complete without a gondola ride in Jujijio, a beautiful and peaceful water town. The 90-minute private trip takes you through the ancient water village with its beautiful views and charming alleyways. You can also watch the people who live in Jujijio go about their daily lives by the water. After a smooth ride on a gondola, you can also look at traditional buildings, old shops, and handicraft stands in the old town. 20. Shanghai Disneyland The Shanghai Disneyland and Resort has two hotels and a modern park for both kids and adults. There are two restaurants and rooms with views of the garden, courtyard, or theme park at the Toy Story Hotel. The Shanghai Disneyland Hotel has three restaurants, a lounge, an indoor pool, Rooms with access to the Magic Kingdom Club and rooms with views of the lake, garden, or theme park. See prices and what's available. You can also meet Disney characters, go to Wishing Star Park, go shopping, or have a Disney fairy tale wedding at this dreamy place. So these are the top 20 things to do in Shanghai. 
If you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel for more top 10 videos. Press the bell icon for latest updates. Thanks for watching.